So how are you feeling now? How are your legs feeling? Busy. You're busy? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Did you say they feel kind of heavy? Yeah, my whole body feels kind of heavy. Like, like, super gravity. Like, heavy, like, uncomfortable or just no, heavy? No, like, really. Like those little kid games where you, like, talk, you tell somebody a story, and you tell them that they're, like, falling or something. Feel like oh yeah, I remember those. Yeah. Uh huh. Or um, what's that? What heavy's the board? Lies the fire. You do that thing yeah, where you yeah, you lift and break. Yeah. Yeah. That was funny. What what if a psychologist you know behind how that works? But uh, I'm assuming you're feeling that kind of head that that really yeah. relaxed heavy as a board. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't think I can sit up. Uh huh. I mean, nor do I. I was gonna say, but I. <laughs> but I don't really want to give up anyway. Okay, so we're going to go around and we'll finish up for the last procedures. Okay. Once again, just a really light, subtle bloop, which is a technical term in body work, in mm-hmm. welding work. It's that nice little weird feeling. It doesn't quite feel like when the doctor hits your reflex. It doesn't quite feel like, almost like when you hit your elbow, there's that weird, like it's yeah, just a little it's subtle. Like a, Cool. Yeah. How's that feel? Good. You feel like it's, huh? Busy. Busy? Okay. So we'll just give that a second to kind of do its thing, and then we'll go through your neck procedure and kind of stitch it up. Yeah. As I said, you know, the thing that's kind of cool with the Bowen work is that there's no one point at which the body just suddenly shifts. It's kind of like that scoop of ice cream. That You get a scoop of ice cream and you put it in the bowl. And you're talking and you're doing this, you're doing that, you know, and do the leg procedure and the neck procedure, this and that. And it's been slowly melting while you really weren't paying attention. Yeah. And you look down and it's kind of like, oh look. <laughs> it's, compl- it's liquid. I melted! I melted. <laughs> Yeah, but with the bone work, like you're melting in a good way. Yeah. Like when all that stress melts Although out. I do like melted ice cream. Yeah, it is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, when all that stress and all of that tissue tension has released and it's kind of melted away, the body's like, oh my God, this is what happy, relaxed mm-hmm. feels like. And even though you feel heavy, it's almost like a floaty heavy. Yeah. It's one of those almost contradictions where on one level you feel heavy, like you couldn't move, you don't want to move. Mm-hmm. And on the other hand, you feel like a Yeah. Healthy. Okay, so we're going to go through the neck procedure now. Okay. Yeah. okay, as you can see, it's just that really light, kind of delicate kind of touch through and the back of the neck. And these two last points, it's really funny, because a lot of times when you go through the upper back, and, you know, lower back, you know, and all the procedures, you're like, well, oh, my neck is what's sore, my neck is what's sore. And it's like, no, no, it's not necessarily the neck. It might not be the neck, but also, if you work the rest of the body first, you know, say your neck is sore and has an injury or something, if the rest of the body is tense or stressed, the injured area is going to take a cue off of the rest of the body. If you work the rest of the body and the rest of the body is just completely chill, then you go to the injured area, it's going to be more ready to release. Everything around it is saying, we're good, it's okay. And so that it cues the tense area to come more successfully into its relaxed, healed state. So how's that feeling in your neck? <laughs> so I was going to say, so what happens is the whole body is kind of come relaxed. We work the neck, and which what we carry, we do. In our culture, especially, we carry a lot of stress in our neck and our shoulders. You know, part of it is the fact that, you know, we are not as mobile as we're, we should be. We live in a much more sedentary culture than we were ever biologically developed to. You know, nature did not really evolve chairs, <laughs> you know, nature de- evolved trees <laughs> and hills and streams and things that move and things we have to climb. And actually, it's really interesting. I was reading something a little while ago 
about the distinction between walking barefoot and walking with shoes and walking over natural terrain. And I played around with this, kind of looked kind of silly because I was walking down the sidewalk barefoot and then I walked over into the grass and I walked back over to the sidewalk to walk barefoot, you know, and I walked over in the grass. And in natural terrain, we really do use more of our muscles. It's easier and more of a, a workout for the body. When you walk on perfectly flat terrain, it's always the same muscles and it's more of a pounding. When you go over all those little hillocks and your foot and your legs kind of roll around those, yeah. it encourages the whole body to have to engage. Um, so yeah, we really weren't biologically evolved to be in artificial environments. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. You should play around with it sometimes if you get a chance. You know, walk on a sidewalk and feel how your body kind of, you know, processes that gait. And then walk over grass, particularly if it's not like, you know, um, like a golf course, you know, where the grass is so perfect that, you know, you wouldn't have any, you know, any variation. Just walk the grass and just kind of feel how your foot molds in and around the different subtle shapes and nuances and how much that shifts the way the rest of your body responds when you walk. But, uh, but yeah, so we really weren't meant to be sedentary, and our neck and our shoulders take a lot of stress, especially in today's modern culture, because when we sit so much and we pull forward, and very often we'll say that our neck and our shoulders are tight, and what happens is our neck and our shoulders actually aren't tight. This area through here is being overstretched. What gets tight is what's in front. Anyhow, so by loosening everything else up and then coming to this area, which is tight, it's almost like getting double the efficiency and effectiveness in the release. That you're getting this to release, but you're getting it to release almost to like 110% because the rest of the body is just so relaxed in such a good place that the, dist the distinction between the stress and the release when you hit the troubled area is that much more effective. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. How's that feeling? Okay. Get back this last little move here. How's that feel? Mm -hmm. You know, we, you know, the average Bowman session, it usually lasts between an hour, an hour and a half. Um, it can sometimes be a little harder to pinpoint exactly how long a session will last because when the body's working on something, you give it that time and space to finish processing. And I particularly like to be able to say, no, give you the text time before we move on. So, you know, in that duration, we've gone through, you know, several different procedures that have worked through the lower back, the upper back, the neck, and the hamstring and the leg. You know, I particularly like to do the hamstring, even, you know, especially in the first procedure, because very often, when we're tight through our neck and our shoulders and we think our back is tight, very often what is really also tight, or at least contributing to it, is the glutes and the hamstrings. And by releasing through here, it takes the pressure off of everything up and down the spine and you get a better release through the upper body. That still feel busy? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to sit up? Mm -hmm. So... When I'm getting up, you just kind of help me get up. You just kind of let me sit up and then put your feet over the side. Go, just give a second. Roll your shoulders around a bit. And turn your neck side to side. How does that feel for range of motion now? Good. Do you feel how you feel the difference? And we have help. You know, the range of motion. And also just, it looks like you're working hard. Like you don't have to stretch to yeah. get the turn. Hi, Mer. Yes, somebody is very happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wants some little doggy, do you know, doggy yeah. bowing work. Can't blame him. I wonder if he would relax. Yeah, Maybe he, would, he would just become chill. I don't think that's possible. And do the arms and just see how they feel. Oh, good. Now you said you had something with your right shoulder a little bit when you were rock climbing. Mm -hmm. How does that feel now? Definitely more range of motion. Yeah. And that's even after running, you really warm up. Yeah. 
Awesome, awesome.